Here, we have been given this pentagon with this arbitrary area, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 0.678, and we are supposed to find a square whose area is exactly the same. I have chosen this number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 0.678, so that it is easy to remember as we go from the pentagon and do some deformations and geometric constructions and reach this square. Let us make a copy of our original pentagon. We'll draw a perpendicular bisector of the base that will necessarily pass through the top vertex. Then we'll construct a line from one end of the base to the top vertex, which forms a triangle within the given pentagon. And I'm going to draw a line that is parallel to the base of this triangle. So let us mark this as the base of the triangle. Now that we have these two parallel lines, the distance between them becomes the height of this triangle. Next, I'm going to grab the vertex of this triangle and I will deform this triangle in this direction. So I'll start moving the vertex like this. Now you'll notice two things. Number one, the base is not changing at all and neither is the height because the triangle is still enclosed in the same two parallel lines. So if I take this triangle and deform to say this position, then its area will still be the same because neither the base nor the height had changed. Let us do the same thing on the other side as well. Now these two triangles along with this one over here is going to cover the entire area of the given pentagon. So we are now having a triangle which is equivalent to the pentagon in terms of area. Let us actually measure and confirm this. So I'll measure the area of uh, this triangle over here and we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0.678 that peculiar number that we had as this original area. So let us mark that. So now we have taken our original pentagon and we have converted it into a isosceles triangle. Let us now copy this equivalent triangle to this location and I'm going to deform it like before so without changing the base and without changing the height, I'm going to convert it into a right angle triangle. For that, I'm going to keep the vertex exactly above this end of the base. Then I'll be drawing two lines from the midpoint of the height and the other end of the base. And I will be deforming this triangle into a rectangle. To do that, of course, I need an extra vertex, which I just introduced. And I'll take this vertex and start folding it till it comes and coincides with that point we had marked. Uh, let us measure areas here again. So I'll measure the area of this rectangle and you will see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0.678. Let us show it in different color and mark that area under it. Now we are just a single step away from the final result that we want, a square of this much area. Obviously the side of that square will be the square root of this number, but this number is a product of this base and the height. So it boils down to, given two lengths, say the base and height, how to find the square root of their product. We have already seen a construction. Uh, you can click here to revise that. Uh, I'll only be using it over here. So I'm going to select this rectangle and rotate it about this point so that this base comes and coincides with the upright. Then the construction tells us to construct a semicircle or a circle with this much of diameter starting from this point to the other. It says that the square root is this length starting from the intersection of this circle with this upright to the base. So all we now need to uh, do is to construct a square with this much of a side. Uh, we'll of course uh, confirm this by measuring the area. So watch the area as I click here and it remains uh, the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 0.678. Let's mark it here. So now we have four geometric figures, uh, a square, a rectangle, a isosceles triangle and a regular pentagon. And all of them are having the same area.